Hi, I hope you're just having a great day today and just God just blessing you. We've had some incredible weather down here in Texas. You know, one day here it's freezing, the next day it's in the 70s. You know, no wonder so many people are sick. But you know, hey, these last couple of weeks we've been talking about road signs. We've been talking about the principle of the path. And the principle of the path is this. Your direction, not your intention, determines your destination. And this past week, you know, we looked at Solomon. We've been looking at him uh, this entire time. But last week we looked at him when he was a teenager. When he was a teenager, uh, he became king. He became a leader of, of the whole nation. It wasn't just, you know, when his father passed away, it wasn't just, hey, you know, now you're responsible for the family. It's, no, man, you're responsible for the entire kingdom. It's all on you. And one night God came to him in a dream. And he said, Solomon, ask me if anything, just ask me anything you want and I'll give it to you. You know, probably for us, if that happened to us, we'd probably be asking for what? A new PS3, maybe a new car, new phone, you know, something, lots of money. We'd be asking for a whole bunch of stuff. But listen to what Solomon asked. You can see this in 1 Kings. But look, listen to what Solomon asked for. Solomon said, you know what, God? I got a lot of responsibility. God, I have, I got to make decisions about stuff I know nothing about. God, what I need, I need wisdom. I need wisdom. I need understanding. I mean, God was so blown away with that and just so touched by that that God gave him the wisdom. And Solomon is the smartest man who ever lived or whoever will live. It's him. But, you know, God just was impressed that, that a teenager would go, you know what? I need wisdom. I don't need stuff. I need wisdom. And what it goes to show is that Solomon trusted God. You see, Solomon submitted to God. And in Proverbs 3, 5, we looked at this scripture on Sunday. It says this, trust God from the bottom of your heart. Don't try to figure out everything on your own. You see, that's what a lot of us try to do. We try to figure everything out ourselves. But what Solomon did, the smart thing was, you know what, God, I need you. I need you. I can't do this on my own. I need you. You see, that's what it is, guys. We need to trust God from the bottom of our heart. In every area of our lives, not just the, the areas where we don't have any control. You see, it's real easy for us to trust God, right? In areas where we have absolutely no control over. But man, when it comes to trusting God in the areas where we have some expertise, where we have experience, where we have knowledge, we have a real hard time trusting Him don't we? It's a struggle. But you know what? In order to stay on the path, in order to be on the path that God wants us to be on, we have to fully submit to Him. So we can add a phrase to that, what we've been learning. It's submission first. Submit to God first. Then it's direction, not your intention, that determines your destination. Submit to God everything friendships, relationships, everything. You submit everything to Him. Give it all to Him. And when you do that, oh man, incredible, amazing things just begin to happen in your life. And, and it, it is just life-changing when you submit to Him. So that's what I'm asking you to do is submit to Him. Give Him everything. Give Him your money. Give Him your relationships. Give Him your home. Give Him your car. Give it all to God. Just give it to Him. Submit to Him and watch Him just rock and roll in your life. Hey, I ended last Sunday with three questions, and I want to give them to you today. And I want you to think about these three questions and, and answer them. Be honest with yourself. Here's the first one. Why am I so afraid to acknowledge God in areas where I think I have control? Tough question. Second question. Why do I only acknowledge, acknowledge Him in areas over which I have no control? Ask yourself that. And the third question is, why am I so afraid to say, God, I'm going to acknowledge you in all my ways? Will you be honest with yourself and answer those questions? Be honest and answer them. He, guys, I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I need to say a special hello. I have two little nieces that are watching this, and I didn't know, know they were watching it, but they watch it every week. Hey, Cora. Hey, Kyla. I love you guys. Thanks for watching and tuning in. Listen to your mama, okay? Listen to your mama. Behave. Don't make me come down there. All right? Listen to your mama. Anyway, I love you guys. Hey, tune in next week as we continue to talk about the principle of the path. See ya. Bye-bye.